Frank Zappa. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. We're gonna do something that we're not supposed to do. We're gonna drink the Yellow Snow. Yellow Snow IPA from Rogue. Brought back to us by Heist Almighty. We're here on Heist Almighty's porch and we got uh, Fuzz, who really doesn't like IPAs at all. Or Yellow Snow. Or Yellow Snow. How do you know if you've never tried it? It tastes never... like lemon. Aww. No, it doesn't! Dog lemon. Watch out where the huskies go. Dedicated to common sense. Seven ingredients, <laughs> carafoam, melanoidum, and two-row malts, amarillo, and pearl hops. The only thing I know in that is amarillo. Amarillo. Pearl hops, free range, coastal water, and Pac-Man yeast. Oh, it's the Pac-Man yeast. It's the same one they used in the Rogue Dead Guy. Alright, cool. Yeah, cool. So it uh, doesn't say what ABV it is. I imagine that Heist Almighty can figure that out. Right, it okay. says 70 IBU. 15 degrees Play-Doh. I'm really expecting something like this to be really strong. Probably. Very strong yellow snow. So let's pop top off of this one and see if we get lucky. No, we're not. Oh, that's even a big bottle. I didn't even look at the bottle. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to double fill your glass. Oh! Listen, I give, I'll tell you something. I give IPAs full marks. I do. I don't like them. Full marks out of two and a half. But, I mean, no. But I mean, I, I I give IPAs a fair chance. A fair chance, really, based yeah. on your own type, uh, you know, tastes and preferences. You no, know it for something that calls itself yellow snow, it looks like so orange. It's not very yellow. Mm, it's not very yellow. Yellow. And it's six point two. Six point two. You know, kind of um, hazy still. Look how crappy that is getting on yours, man. Oh, oh that looks like right. soot. That's oh, like, that looks like that looks like UTI. That looks like green. Oh, look at that. I'm glad like I got the top of this. Shit. If that's yellow snow, she's really dehydrated. It's, yeah, this is like, uh, this is more like real brewed wow. iced tea. Yeah. That is thick. Very creamy. It's got like a, a UTI, I think. I'm, I'm kind of like an infection going on. Oh, okay. Why are you bringing this up? Because it's yellow snow. Don't you eat it. Don't you eat yellow snow. You know what? It's actually got a big bright white poofy head on if top of that. That's carefully really within nice. all the crud. There's actually some fairly decent amount of carbonation still going on in yeah. there. Yep. That's a really nice. You know, like ignoring the name, it's a really nice looking beer. Nice text message. Yeah. Good. You okay. It's the dog. It's the dog that catches the. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, but like yeah, duck hunt. The duck hunt dog. Right. The guy when he jump, when he grabs the duck, it comes up. Not a husky. <laughs> but not a husky. But watch where he goes. Uh -huh. What do you mean yellow snow? snow. Alright. That hey. looks nice. I gotta say that looks really nice. Take a sniff. The, he the, he the head's sticking around yeah, a lot too. Pretty that's decent IPA smell in that. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? It's not oh. overly offensive. Nice and light and well, citrusy. I've had this a couple of months. The bitterness might have died off. Okay. Lemon and light grapefruit. And a little bit of like a... Herbal tea. Like slightly herbal mystery. Yeah, a little Not, bit herbal. It's what was the what was the one we had a little sweet. while ago? The summer the summer oh, seasonal the peak organic summer seasonal. That yeah, was, uh, that had more. That had amarillos in that it. That had amarillo hops. Yeah, well. no, but that had more like grapefruit smell than this did. Yeah, this is more like light and silly flowery almost. It's like it really a gorgeous smell in IPA. Uh, hey, it's not offensive. No, no, down yeah. the hatch. Well, let's see if it tastes offensive. Yeah, well, I hope so. We got big glasses of the sucker. Oh man! Ooh, that strange hot taste to that. A little bit. Ah! Oh! Ah! It's almost like that taste of grapefruit curled up and went weird. And died. It's got some pretty, uh, pretty sweet malts to balance that out a bit, though. It does. Like that, it doesn't come off as being overly insanely bitter. Although it is a 76 IBU beer. It's, uh, as we've discussed previously, yeah. the upper limits of the you, human ability to perceive. You can tell by that bitterness hook that's still lingering there that this would be intensely bitter if it wasn't for all that sweet malt. Yeah, but it almost tastes like it's not sweet, but you know it is. Long aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, the sweetness is almost masked by the hop, but if you look careful, it's there. But even with all that, it almost comes across a lot lighter than it is. And the, the alcohol is masked. It's, mm. um, yeah. it's really nice. Maybe not the best IPA I've ever had. Kind of has a metallic, metallic taste. Very it. solid effort, though. Yeah. I'd be happy enough eating a little snow on this one. Mm. It'd be actually kind of cool to make some snow with this. Like, actually, like, get a pack of snow in the wintertime and just pour the IPA on it, let it freeze in. Yeah, and like, eat it like coffee. Like the maple on the snow. Mm. Yeah. 
yellow snow. Ma maple sugar on snow. Yeah, it's serviceable. Um, it's definitely a decent double IPA. Well, it's you, just a single IPA. It's only six point two. Oh, it's only six point two. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a single category. Then. Together we can do it. Solidarity, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love the label on that. It's got his hug and his dog. says, together, we can do it. Together, we can make yellow snow. Yeah. All right. So it definitely doesn't taste like dog piss. And um, it's it's not bad. So what do you want to put a number to it? Yeah. I'm going to say... 3.75. Three and a half. I'm going to go three and a half. On this yeah, one. it was a close call between that. And yeah. the... Uh, the fuzzy scale for IPA started at 2.5 and worked with the now. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2. I'm going to give it a 2. Not bad. So you didn't absolutely hate it. Uh, it's nothing you drink again. Yeah. For some reason, you keep subjecting me to IPAs. Yeah. It's just because they're big bottles and we need to give it to somebody. And you call the liar boy in? Yep. Yep. Hey, we treated what? you to Bush earlier. That was horrible. Worse than this, really. And middle, middle of life. That was, that was the same as this. Awesome. I gave it the same score. <laughs> for different Actually, reasons, yeah, though. You did, though. <laughs> for, for different reasons. You like the summer uh, session, though. Yeah, you like the summer session, huh? Didn't you? You gave it a 275. Yes, it did. Yeah. All right. That's not bad. I, would, I, think, I bet you're going to like Dominion. I think there's going to be other beers that I like, but that one's not a bad little beer. I'd, uh, I'd drink it again if I had to. I wouldn't be uh, felt subjected to that. I wouldn't necessarily go to my way to buy it again, but it's not my favorite IPA. But Log yeah. Logger Boy fans, one or two tops. Like only take one or two of these. Well, oh, no, one. Yeah, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. If you're a Logger one. Boy, is not used to bitter beers. That yeah, would not be a nice one. it is pretty bitter. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty bitter. But it's I mean, gonna, it's gonna be a few minutes to get through this one. It's yeah, take well, a little rest. Why don't we take a little rest then? So thanks for watching, folks. We'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.